Hello beer market is heating hard. Top project uh, um, protocols keep shipping code and releasing new announcements, actually making impact. So uh, today we want to talk about StockNet and this is an opportunity I think you might want to pay attention to right now as layer tools are trending. Of course, uh, uh, Optimism recently released the OP tokens and did some really massive air jobs. So you might want to pay attention to some of the um, layer twos and t StockNet is one of them. Uh, by the way, Starkware recently released a tweet that the Stargate Alpha went live on Mainnet. That was on May 9th, um, uh, just about earlier this month. The Stargate Alpha went live on Mainnet, and you can move your assets from Ethereum Mainnet to Starknet Alpha and the other way around. You can just go to Starkware, search Starkware on Twitter, and then you're going to see their pinned tweet there. So, by the way, what is Starknet? Starknet is a permissionless decentralized ZK rollup that operates as an L2. Uh, network over Ethereum enabling any DAP to achieve unlimited scale for its computation without compromising Ethereum's composability and security. So you could go to the Starkware website. I'm going to leave every link in the description as I always do for you to find and read about and learn about Starkware, Starknet and all of their products inclusively. Now the idea of this video is to get you to participate in this ecosystem and actually try out some of the projects who are building on StarkNet on your testnet currently. I mean it's going to cost you nothing. This is testnet. So it's very important that you do it. And, and, and one thing I want to mention is that doing this in the beer season will probably truncate doing it in a bull season because I mean this is when project teams actually get to know users who are loyal users because I mean this is a time when there is not a lot of interest in crypto and you are making use of a product, uh, product and giving them feedback so probably some of these projects are going to do um, some of these projects are going to do uh, bigger airdrops than normally you would see in a that you normally see in a bull run. All right. So how do you actually get to use Starknet? The first thing you have to do is to go to um, uh, search for the Argent X extension uh, on um, on your desktop. On your desktop, right? It's not the normal. Uh, it's not the popular Argent mobile wallet that you may already know. This is Argent X. So search Argent X extension on Chrome and it's going to lead you to this particular one right here. You just simply add it to your extensions on Chrome. I'm probably sure you know how to do this already. I already have this added, so this is it, Agent X. Look for this um, icon right here and add it to your extensions. So once you click on the extension ticker at the top right here, and you're, uh, you're going to find Argent X. Open it and create a wallet. Create a new wallet like you would do for MetaMask. It's just similar interface right here. I already have a wallet created right here as you can see and that is why you would find this other than just the create wallet option. You can always create a new wallet or import but of course it's a new uh, protocol and most most people may not already have used it so it's important that you create a new wallet unless you use the previous one that you can import. So. Otherwise, just create a new wallet and you're going to find your address, deploy it, and you're going to find your address. By default, it's going to be on the Goalie test nets here. So leave it there. You can see the Ethereum main and local host. So just leave it on the Goalie test nets right here. And what you would need to do after that is to get some test tokens. There's the ETH here. What you're going to see by default are these two, the ETH, the Goalie ETH, that's the test ETH, and the test tokens right here. Now, uh, this test tokens, I'm going to show you how to get some of it as well. But first of all, you have to get the, uh, uh, the test ETH by using your wallet, your wallet address here. Copy your wallet address and go to um, this right here, the where you have the, the, the full set. You can get the full set. I'm going to leave every link in the description, the links to get this full set right here. I'm going to leave it every necessary link that you would find. So you paste your address and uh, get some test tokens, click on this. I am not a robot, and you send the request, all right? You're gonna get some tokens. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this because I already got some more, but maybe I'm just gonna try and see. So you have to initialize, wait for confirmation, and the tokens will be transferred to you. So when I did it, I got about 0 0.002 test, um, test net F in my wallet. And then there are a couple of protocols. So, okay, this is actually, uh, confirming right here. So probably I'm gonna get some extra test at GA tokens right here for my stock net. Remember this is for stock net, right? And um, once you get this test tokens, you can go ahead and try out. You'd see the test tokens in your ETH in your stock net wallet that you just created. So go back to your extension and look out for it. So now you can go and try out some um, protocols that are building on stock net. 
for example my swap the XYZ I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well so right here you can just connect your wallet once you come on here it's gonna be on the Starknet Goldie by default I don't think they've launched on mainnet yet no because you can't click this and so you just connect your wallet and come on here and go for some test tokens you see that uh, um, Test wrapped at test USDC test uh, com compound and TST. So you just you can just go for this TST right here. There's going to be a function to mint here, but if you don't find it by any chance, you can come on here. The, the links are going to be in the description for the StackNet tokens for set. You can mint some TST here. I think it should be 1000 by default. So you can always increase it right here and get maybe 5000, then mint it. You have to connect your wallet first. This is a wallet I created, so you have to connect your wallet first and then main some test tokens. Once you've made some test tokens, you go back here and then try to swap. Try to swap this TST, add a little bit, maybe like 1,000 or thereabout, and then you can come to TUSDC, uh, test USDC, and swap it. Approve it and swap it like you do on any DEX at all. You can also come to the pools and provide liquidity. I've just done that on this particular what I mean, you never can tell. I mean, some of these things are probably going to be rewarding. This is not a guarantee. There's no um, guarantee of any airdrops coming from some of these protocols, but of course it's important uh, to use them. Um, all right, so I mean, just 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 for the fun of it, participate in the ecosystem while it's new. There are other swaps, like I think JD Swap. So I'm going to leave a tweet link that shows at least to some of these um, uh, budding protocols that are building on Starknet, so you can actually try them out as well. Anyways, if you are landing on this channel for the first time and everybody hit like on this video, hit that subscribe button right away and turn on the notification bell. Also, share this video, guys. Share this video across so people can actually participate in this test nest and the BSs. And maybe it's going to be worth a lot more in the next boost season, guys. Cheers and see you in the next update. Bye.